What's up, baby? This week on Thug Notes, we getting loose with the Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Up in Salem, Massachusetts, where everybody got real tight assholes, homies gather to peep the public humiliation of some thick honey named Hester Print. See, the one time found Hester guilty of sleeping around like a skink and getting knocked up. Now she gotta sport a red A on her threads to signify adultery. The people be all like, yo, slut, you best fess up the name of your baby daddy. But Hester keeps it street and don't snitch. While she being all hated on by the hood, she peeps her old hubby in the crowd, who till now she thought got ganked at sea. This fool get all crunk and say that the man she hoeing it up with gotta get his too. So he go by the fake name of Doc Chillingworth and hit the streets to find the fool who banged this woman. After Hester get released from the slammer, she shacks up in some dingy ass digs with her baby girl Pearl. The local preacher man Dimsdale gets all sick and Doc Chill start nursing him when he starts thinking, maybe this fool ill cause he got some fessing to do. So one night Chilly scope him out while he's sleeping and sees a big red A on his chest. Now Chilly know who been raw dogging Hester. Then Hester gets tired of Chili busting her baby daddy's balls and asks him to stop hating. But Chili be all like, can't stop, won't stop. So Hester tells Dimsdale that Chillingworth her old hubby. Later, while Dimsdale sermonizing, he sees Hester and Pearl in the crowd, loses his shit, and starts telling everybody that he's Pearl's daddy. Then he shrivels up and dies like a bitch. Since Chili ain't got nobody to fuck with no more, he up and dies too. Years later, Hester goes back to her cottage in the boonies where she builds a rep for giving advice to other women. When she dies, she gets buried next to Dimsdale with a big ass A on their gravestone. Even the scrappiest hoods know that Hester's A standing for adultery, but listen good, blood, cause that ain't all it means. Like when Hester start doing righteous deeds for the community, homies start thinking that A stands for Abel. And when peeps see a big A in the sky after Winthrop buys the farm, they thinking it means angel. But no matter how legit has to play, that A isolating her from all the other players in town who frontin' saying they all pure and uppity. Ever since Adam took a bite out of that apple and got his ass booted out of Eden, sin has isolated man from society, himself, and even God. And since them Puritans ain't down with Hester's bad self, she gotta live in a cottage and bum nowhere. Chili's sin of vengeance gets so real that he loses himself entirely. The narrator even say that with his vengeance all cashed out, he ain't got nothing to do but go chill with Satan. In short, there was no more devil's work on earth for him to do. It only remained for the unhumanized mortal to betake himself whether his master would find him task enough and pay him his wages duly. But the truth up in here is that all these self-righteous posers ain't being real and admitting that they just as human as Hester. Cause no matter how hard you try to stick to the straight and narrow, acting out is a part of human nature. Anybody that say they never trip in the face of temptation is the real line trick. So what Hawthorne might be saying is, if everybody is a sinner, shouldn't we stop hating so much whenever somebody f***s up? Cause if you're gonna say life is based on love and compassion, you gotta know how to forgive, player. Stay in school, say no to drugs, and tell all your friends about thug notes. Catch your ass next week. <laughs>